what's going on guys so <clears throat> i wanted to talk about the the most overpowered damage dealing character in battlefront history now some might you know raise a brow at that and be like well you know there's characters like general grievous dooku uh, old Anakin Skywalker used to be able to one-shot characters uh, back in the day. What gives? While that might all be true, none of them were able to deal the amount of damage that they did while also being as tanky as this character is right here. Uh, Chewbacca arguably was the most threatening character in Star Wars Battlefront 1 Um after his after his patch that fixed his abilities and shit, he became the most powerful character in the game, uh, simply because he was able to do this right here. So, back in the day, you weren't able to multi bolt into Mighty War, because what would happen is you would multi bolt bolt. There'd be a small delay before you can do anything else, like ability wise then they fixed it so now you can multi-bow and immediately muddy war and muddy war is arguably debatably the best ability in the game it, it's up there with abilities like disruption uh i i honestly think this ability is better because you get a lot more value out of it um because while Lando's disruption gave you uh, defensive and offensive pressure, um, it didn't really last that long uh, in terms of overheating. I mean, the it, while it did uh, turn off your opponent's uh, abilities, you had to time it right. Mighty War immediately, immediately gives Chewbacca uh, three armor trait. As you can see, he gets high armor, so he takes about 50% to... I think 70% less damage, right? And keep in mind, this character also has one of the highest health pools in the game. And now, yes, every character does have 100, but he does have a, a lot of defense, which uh, basically gives him a lot more health than other characters, so he's able to tank better. This, coupled with Mighty War, makes him into the tankiest character in the game, because while a Vader... Well, a Vader his trait does give him a lot of armor versus multiple opponents. Chewbacca doesn't need to be in the presence of multiple players. He can just be in the presence of one villain or whatever and just automatically activate Mighty War and get that armor. But that's not all. This also increases his damage. So for this limited amount of time, Chewbacca has a massive damage increase. So he's able to do more damage. Now... Chewbacca's weapon already by itself does insane amount of damage as you're shooting at your opponent, whether it be like a villain or a storm. Stormtroopers, a direct hit, usually take one or two shots, and then they're done. With Muddy War, it, I'm, it's a guaranteed one-shot kill if it directly hits them. Versus villains, even without Muddy War, this is doing a decent amount of damage. So like in a hallway like this, or at this distance right here, Chewbacca is going to be able to put immense amount of pressure on the opponent, right? He has enough rate of fire, so he's able to shoot these high damage. It's just one bolt already does a good amount of damage. You're going to be dealing 50 to 100 points worth of damage uh, as you're hitting a villain, right? You're going to be doing a good amount of damage depending on who you're fighting. So, say like boss, an emperor, uh, well, you're shooting at them with one or two bolts, you're going to be doing this amount of damage. But that, the more you shoot at them, or the more stormtrooper kills you get, or whatever, the higher his trait gets. And you'll notice that the higher his trait gets, the more bolts you get. So, as he gets more bolts, he's going to be doing more damage. And then he has this ability, which increases the amount of bolts he, go, he goes from. So, he goes from four to eight bolts right away you just you can activate this immediately unless if he uses mighty war if he uses mighty war he can't activate multi bolts immediately but if you uh, if you don't have mighty war if you haven't activated mighty war you can activate those those immediately and get you can go from two to four from three to six you know whatever you just do the math it's just two times whatever the amount of bolts you have at that time right 
So Chewbacca's ability to pressure somebody damage-wise is pretty insane. Just taking multi bolt bolts into account, a lot of times he doesn't even need Muddy War to even like pressure the opponent. You can just beat people by multi by using multi bolts and then just charging at them and just doing massive amounts of damage and forcing them out. Mighty War, on the other hand. You're able to just use it. Using it by itself already puts immense amount of pressure on the opponent because you're way tankier. You do a lot more damage, and you're also giving this buff to your teammates as well. This is very much like Wrath. This is a better version of Wrath of the Empire. You're giving a damage bonus to your teammates, and they're also getting trait three armor for a limited amount of time. So, your teammates are also becoming extremely hard to damage and harder to kill as a result, and they're going to be able to naturally out-sustain your opponents by default with Mighty Vort on. So, that by itself is just, it just makes Chewie insane. But, team fight wise this character is also extremely insane. Offensively and defensively. Offensively, his insane amounts of damage and his ability to tank hits allows him to just charge at certain villains like Bosk and, and Greedo and just fucking hammer at them. He doesn't even really need to care if he's at a, if he's at like 60 or 80 percent. You can just charge at them, deal a massive amounts of damage, and if they don't run away, they're probably going to die. Right. And Mighty War gives your, you and yourself an insane buff that pretty much means if you do not run away right now, you are going to lose the game. I do not give a fuck. This, this ability is absolutely insane. Gives them an insane advantage over the entire team. And the whole reason why Chewie is so threatening in the first place, because you're able to Mighty War uh, anytime you really want. Um... The, the biggest problem with a character like Orson is that um, while Wrath of the Empire is good, he lacks an offensive presence and he can still get bullied. Chewie, on the other hand, is the exact opposite. Fighting Chewie when he has this buff on, it, at least head-to-head, -head, is usually suicide. Not even Vader. 60% um, of the time is not going to be able to outbox this character unless if he has way more health. And even then, Vader is taking massive, massive, massive amounts of damage from Mighty War alone. And it, this character with Mighty War is just insanely hard to fight. Even if you stack multiple villains against him, if you don't have a Vader... This character can just go to Bosk, boom, 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 force you out. B uh, Emperor, boom, 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 force you out, or you're dead. It, it literally, if you do not have a, a Vader or a really, really, really good Boba Fett when this character is on the field, ideally you want both Vader and a really good Boba Fett when this character is on the field, because that's pretty much the only way that you can directly counter him, is by ganking him with multiple villains. In 1v1... Um, this character is absolutely insane. He's been able to just outbox every character in the game, force them out, pressure them a lot. And he doesn't even need to use his abilities half the time. You can just save it. And that's the whole threat to this character is, does he have Mighty War or does he not have Mighty War? You'll notice that a lot of people are going to be more inclined to push on a Chewie who doesn't have Mighty War. One that, that may or may not have Mighty War... They're usually going to try and play a more hit-and-run play style to try and bait it out so they can chip them down. And that kind of just speaks by itself. The fact that the community had to adapt so much to conform to this character because he's that strong makes him the most powerful character in Battlefront history, at least damage-wise, because he's able to tank very well, deal massive amounts of damage, pressure the opponent. He, he has by far defined the heroes versus meta, uh, heroes versus villain meta game the most. No other character besides maybe um, boss is able to define uh, HPV and just the game in general uh, as well as Chewie has. So this character is absolutely insane. Absolutely fucking insane.
and I do not think that they will ever release a blaster character as good as Chewbacca ever again.